Why settle for the same old margarita on Cinco de Mayo? How about adding some spice and making it a drink to remember? Antonio Rodriguez is Patron's production manager and has one of the world's most enviable tasks. He personally tastes and approves every batch of tequila that leaves the distillery in Jalisco, Mexico, and he joins us now. Hi, Antonio. Hi, Tanya. How do you actually get your job done and not fall down drunk at the end of the day? <laughs> uh, that's the secret. <laughs> like you, you end up being drunk and work. <laughs> that's right. You, just, you just sip it, right? Yeah. You have a, that's, what, that's what I call it, that's sip what, it. That's what you call yeah. it. You have a tough job, my friend. So tell us, why do you think the margarita is so popular these days? Well, it's great. It's a lot of trends of margaritas. Yeah. It's some cocktail that allows you to play with different fresh juices, a lot of ingredients, like in this case, jalapeno. Some things are me really Mexicans. I'm coming from a tequila, the great tequila. In this case, yes. highly suggest Patron. That will be the best one. <laughs> so it allows you to taste a bunch of flavors in a very nice and clean cocktail. It's interesting because jalapeno and spice is certainly not something we would immediately associate with a margarita, but I'm certainly willing to give it a try. Tell us about this one is called the Rosa Picante, is that right? Rosa Picante is one of, is actually our margarita of the year. Mm. We did um, a contest with very good bartenders from all over the states, and we create several flavors for margarita, several trends. And actually this, this was the one that won that contest. The More winning margarita yes. right here. And we do have votes. a little video. Laura Newman of Mother of Pearl very kindly is showing us here how it's done. Can you tell us everything that goes in this? Yeah, well, it'll start with Patron Silver. Then we also add our lime liqueur, citron lime. It's based on tequila also, so a little more tequila, a little more fun on that. Mm -hmm. We have the ginger syrup, jalapeno oil, and very important, fresh lime juice on it. Uh -huh. I love it's, it. Yeah, it's a good, very good trend. Picante, and there she is shaking it up. Very important. Very good shaking. Important. Good it's going to be that and texture. And pour it. And now we have the finished product right yeah. here. So, Antonio, let's take a sip. Salud. Salud. As they say in Mexico. Always. Mmm. That's delicious. I love getting a little rock salt in my mouth. That is delicious. And I love it. You like that? You find that it's spicy. Is that really subtle? Yes. Just right touch. You can handle it, and just, that mouthfeel is amazing. Just the right kick. Perfect. Tell me quickly a little bit about tequila. I always order Patron Silver when I go out, and I just want a sipping tequila. Is that your most popular tequila? I would say yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the most sale. It's most popular because it's the one that has a perfect blending of agave and in a really smooth profile. But we also have several expressions if you're looking for. So in terms of age, we have Reposado Añejo, even an extra Añejo called Piedra, which is really, really good for sipping too. And that has a little bit more of a what? A more oaky flavors, oaky flavor. but okay. in the right way together, so you don't overwhelm the agave, you keep both sides. All right, so what are your plans for Cinco de Mayo, Antonio? Uh, certainly tequila is involved. <laughs> I will say a lot of that, a lot of Patron tequila. and. So very good margarita like Rosa Picante. I'm right there with you. I'm a tequila girl myself. Antonio, thank you so much for that. Thank, thank you.